Welcome to the 80 by 100 five piece classic pole tent insulation video by Salina. Prior to installation, call a local utility locating service and have all utilities located and marked. This chart shows industry standard colors for marking utilities. A tent installer should never use these colors for marking. Always use white paint for tent squaring and layout. Arrange the tent to avoid all utilities at the installation site. A tent squaring procedure should be performed at the site where the tent is to be installed. Tent squaring saves time during installation and ensures that the tent is tensioned properly. Using white marking paint, mark all stakes, side pole, corner pole, quarter pole, and center pole locations per the layout handbook illustration. Step 1. Lay out all necessary hardware around the tent perimeter. Each lace line requires a minimum of two stake plates and four stakes. One stake plate and two stakes are required at the remaining grommet locations. Each corner location requires a minimum of six stakes. Two stake plates will be set 90 degrees apart and a third stake plate at 45 degrees. Drive stakes into the ground vertically until six inches or less of the stake remains exposed. Vertical is defined as straight up and down or an angle away from the tent up to 10 degrees. Each stake location requires a minimum of one stake plate, two stakes, and one ratchet assembly. To attach the assembly to the tent stake, turn the loop end of the ratchet inside out and pull the strap through the loop to create a noose and pull tight over the stake. Step 2. Unfold the drop cloth to cover the desired location of the tent. Always use a drop cloth. Be sure all areas are covered to prevent damage and or dirt from touching the tent top. Step 3. There are five tent sections required to install an 80 by 100 classic pole tent. Place all sections on the drop cloth. Tent sections must be assembled in this order. 40 by 40 foot lace grommet quarter end section. 40 by 40 foot lace, lace quarter end section, 80 by 20 foot midsection, 40 by 40 foot grommet, lace quarter end section, 40 by 40 foot grommet, grommet quarter end section. There are four unique end sections. Two sections will be laced together to form one 80 foot by 40 foot grommet end. Two sections will be laced together to form one 80 foot by 40 foot lace end. The midsection has both a lace side and a grommet side. The midsection's lace side corresponds with the two piece grommet end. and the midsection's grommet side corresponds with the two-piece lace end. Unroll and unfold all sections in their appropriate locations. Do not stand or walk on tent top fabric. If a section must be moved or relocated, do not drag it. The section must be picked up and carried to the desired location. Step four. Lace all tent sections together. Start by lining up the two large center pole grommets located on the center edge of the tent sections. From the center of the tent, working to the outside perimeter, pull the first lace up through the first small grommet. Pull the next lace through the grommet and previous lace loop.
While lacing the tent top, be sure to also connect the rain flap to the rope covering the lace line. This eliminates the need to crawl in the tent after it is laced. The rain flap prevents water from penetrating the lace line. Continue lacing the sections together until you reach the double length lace. Double length laces are located approximately 2 foot above the quarter pole locations and above the tent balance around the perimeter. Insert the two last laces through the grommets. Starting from the lace closest to the valance, loop upwards back to the longest lace. Tie a knot at the longest lace location to secure the entire lace line. Hook the twisted snap hook to the o-ring to connect both tent sections together. Repeat the above method to secure all remaining tent sections. Step 5. Attach the ratchet straps to the tent and assemble the ratchet buckle. Take the strap from the tent and pull it through the real bar slot of the ratchet and pull the strap back towards the tent. Hold the strap at this point with one hand and begin to crank the ratchet handle back and forth with the other hand until the real bars have turned at least two times and traps the webbing strap. This eliminates the chance of slippage. Step 6. Place one side pole at each grommet location around the tent. Step 7. The tent side poles are now ready to be set. Starting at a corner location, insert the pole pin through the metal L ring and the brass grommet. Be sure the pole pin goes through both holes. If done improperly, you can puncture the tent top fabric and create holes. Set the corner pole to its upright position. Tighten ratchets to keep erect. The remaining side and corner poles can now be erected. Work around the tent, do not over tension the ratchet assemblies. Secure pole with jump rope. Step eight, assemble the quarter poles and the center poles. Each center pole will be constructed of three sections. Step 9. An 80 by 105 piece classic pole tent requires 10 quarter poles and 2 center poles. Insert the first quarter pole pin through the quarter O ring assembly. Be sure not to pinch or puncture the tent top fabric. Lift the first quarter pole into an angled position. Insert the second quarter pole through the second quarter O ring assembly at the lace line location. Lift the pole into an angled position. Repeat this process for quarter pole 3, quarter pole 4, and quarter pole 5. Insert the first center pole pin through the center O-ring assembly. Lift the pole into an angled position. Step 10. When the tent fabric is elevated and no longer touching the ground, the drop cloths can be removed from around the center poles. Step 11. Raise all quarter poles and center poles into their vertical positions. Insert a tent stake into the helper hole if available. Place each pole on an anti-sink pole plate. Step 12. The remaining drop cloths can now be removed. Step 13. Tighten all corner pole and lace line seam pole ratchets until they are vertically straight. Tighten the secondary side pull ratchets. Applying even amounts of tension, work your way around the tent, loosening and tightening ratchet assemblies until all side pulls are vertical and the tent top is tensioned. The tensioning process works best when installers work on opposite sides of the tent from one another. Align the bottom of each side pull in a straight line using a masonry string. Step 14. Inspect all stake, side pole, and center pole locations to ensure that they are secure. Step 15. Drive a stake into the ground at each quarter and center pole locations. Secure tent top to stakes with ratchet assemblies.
Step 16. Finish the tent by rolling excess ratchet straps into the ratchet buckle handle. The tent installation is now complete. If sidewalls are desired, clip the sidewall snap hook to the rope line that is attached to the tent top. Salina Tent is an industrial fabric products manufacturer of tents, shelters, canopies, and related accessories. All tents can be custom printed with your corporate logo, brand, or marketing information. For more information or to order online, please visit our website at gettent.com.